CC to talk a little bit about some prints this this week. Give us a little preview of what's going on with prints. So, uh, CC, I've got the links that you asked me to pull up, the setup. Uh, why don't you take it away? Yeah, because this poster hasn't been popular at all. I don't think enough people are talking about it. So right, right. That's, that's why I want to feature it. Um, yeah, so this is the obviously the Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary poster by Matt Ferguson. And the screen print that matches this um, pretty closely, the only difference is it's not going to have the credit block or the returns to theaters at the bottom, mm -hmm. uh, is going up with Bottleneck Gallery on May the 4th. Um, they did just put out that, which I appreciate that they did this. I'm not surprised at all. Um, if you bought the Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary screen print from them three years ago, uh, again, direct through them, then you're in their system. You'll be getting a pre-order link via email on the 3rd. So like a day earlier than everyone else. Um, the regular, so the color version, this one, and then they'll have another version with the, the Japanese title as opposed to English. Those ones are going to be timed. They're basically mirroring the release of the Empire Strikes Back poster from three years ago. So uh, the, I think then it was available for like four days, three or four days. So you'll definitely have time if you're if you're getting any of the color versions. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a purist on this one. I'm a color version on this one. Well, and I. It's I so was really weird. torn. I was going back and forth for quite a while as to if I want to basically get the same thing I have for Empire Strikes Back or restrain myself. I'm, I don't think I could restrain myself. Sorry. Um, plus, I think, too, that with this being released during Celebration, I'm always going to have memories tied to Celebration um, yeah. regarding this poster. So um, the uh, I don't remember what the next link I showed you or had you pull up, but... Yeah, I'm going. So see, good. Yeah, I'm going Japanese. I think I'm going Japanese. I really think so because uh, that's oh, the, the best. best. I think it's the best. Japanese, I think. Like I have that. I think I have that for the ESB one. Oh, it's so good. Both of mine are in the Japanese font as well. This is a idea of what it's going to look like in the black and white version. I call it black and white with pops of color. So this is the oh, variant. Right. This is the one that's going to be limited. That being said, if they mirror the Empire Strikes Back um, release then it's it's those edition sizes i think it was 475 um for mm -hmm. each version the one with the english title and then the one with the japanese title again with the black and white and pops of pops of color i know chris has this version too um i have it for the esb so i'll probably get the color in japanese and the black and white in the japanese font also it'll have the the neon and the metallic ink the metallic ink is very subtle though but um, you could you could see it when you look look close <clears throat> to it, and then the next link. Yep. So this is just a refresher on what they did regarding the Empire Strikes Back release. Mm -hmm. So this was the regular version with the English titles. Um, again, this was timed. It was available for a few days. I think it was like it went up on a Wednesday or Thursday, and it was up until Sunday. Yeah. And then if you keep scrolling down. This is the Japanese version. So this is the one I have. Um, again, both of the color ones were timed. So if you I have your heart set on either yeah. one. I'm sorry? It's kind of neat that they sold the set. So you could you didn't have to like add add one to the card, go find the other one, add yeah. it to the card if you were in a hurry yeah. or anything like that. It's nice, to, nice that they did the set. And there's no rush on these either because, like I said, they're timed. So they're timed. Yeah. yeah. No way. Way. Yeah, Normally, so these like, are the if ones. you're trying to buy a timed one, like like a, not a timed one, but like a, a limited edition, you you just got to buy one. You can't get greedy and try to buy two because you they'll be sold out. So this is kind of yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, and so this is that, like I said, the black and white with pops of color. Um, and I don't mean to confuse people. They're not going to like produce the Empire Strikes Back ones. I'm just showing these to give you an idea because we haven't seen like full reveals mm -hmm. of the the Return of the Jedi versions, but yes, these are limited to 475. So if anyone wants the black and white ones, I would say those are the ones you need to pay attention to. So that's when it's like, check your right. inbox for the email the day before on the third. Um, did, you know, did they do uh, for? Did they do New Hope or that was before? So he he did a New Hope poster, but it was not for the 40th anniversary. 
Um, okay. It'll likely end up being, I'm thinking maybe the 50th. So um, mm. 2027, is that right? The math checks out. Yeah. Um, the, the concept yeah. is done. It just needs to be approved. So it's okay. definitely happening. It, assuming like all the cards fall. Um, Apparently he likes it the best. He likes it the best out of all of them. Doesn't he? Isn't that his favorite? As far as the posters go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then there's talking this. about Matthew talking about Matthew Ferguson. Is who we're yes. Talking about. Um, so this is the quad. They put out a, um, a quad version of the Empire Strikes Mac just as a, like an, uh, an image it was never produced. Like it was never in theaters. Um, no one ever printed it. So this one, there's a lot of interest for the quad because it has a lot more detail than the regular. Whereas the, the Empire Strikes Back quad, you just saw more of the uh, the meditation chamber that was surrounding the scene. This get like Ewok Village on the right. on the the uh, on the right, and you get more. Eight chicken walkers and scout troopers on the left. Forty also, by thirty. It's so, it's yeah, so forty weird. by thirty. So that's the reason why there's definitely a lot of interest in doing a quad version for this. Um, but it is thirty by forty. I think it's just a logistical thing because so I don't. Big. In the I've been collecting from Bottleneck since 2015. I've never seen them put out a, a poster this large. So I think it's more of a logistical thing. Of course, it would still have to get approved um, for them to do it. And I know that the reason why the Empire Strikes Back didn't get approved was not because there was no interest for it. There was interest for it. I don't think there's, personally, on an anecdotal level, I don't think there's as much interest for the Empire Strikes Back as there was for this one. But um, it was a issue with the placement of the titles, I think, that just, there was a, that didn't get approved. I forget what, what the exact issue was, but I just know that it, there was a, disagreement uh, regarding how it's going to look and how it's going to end up in the end. You know what, you know what though is really nice about these is that all of these is that even if the, the regular versions are beautiful, like the timed versions, usually the time versions are the ones that people are like, oh, all right, I'll go for the time version. But like these time versions are fantastic. Like they're really, really, in my opinion, better than the black and the variants in my opinion, but they're really good. And don't forget that, that bottleneck also frames themselves yeah. so like if you get it and you want it framed it is they do a great job yeah because so. you're gonna do that because your your other one is framed as well my other one's framed yeah um i will say like they're pretty fair as far as most artists tend to pick their what they think is the best version is the regular because it tends to be the one that's more widely available so they don't want anyone obviously to miss out on this the, the i think the regulars in the empire strikes back were edition sizes of like a thousand two thousand mm, i think okay um so yeah just i hope they do the quad i think they, if they do it it's it's definitely not going to be released next week um the other one that's going to be released but just not anytime soon and that's true of the empire strikes back as well as they're doing the lenticular versions but with empire strikes back they did the the screen prints first and then a few months later they did the lenticulars and it sounds like they're going to be doing the same with these so if you want the lenticular, I don't think that's going to be available next week either. Okay. Um, should I move on to the sideshow print? Yes. So I think this is a, a great option, um, obviously available for pre-order now if you're interested. I think it pairs really well with the Rebel style premium format if you happen to get that. I like the style of this where it's a little more uh, painterly as opposed to graphic. I love the colors. I'm not too familiar with the on the artist. I I'll be honest with you. I, I meant to do some research before the show and I uh, time escaped me. But yeah, I think and this is so. I will say the 16 by 24. I was telling a friend today, um, who who collects a lot of Tom Wayland, and I'm like, <laughs> I'd love to get more smaller art prints that are along those lines, but. I don't, I don't know why there's a sudden push for 16 by 24, but it could just be me checking my privilege because the only art print I got from Celebration, the exclusive is 16 by 24 as well. So I think for this to have an even mat, I'd probably have to go with something like 20 by 28. And that's an, it's a different size. Like for me, if it's on 18 by 24 or 24 by 36, it's like, ugh, that's 
a little tricky yeah. to frame, but of course they, they have the, um, pretty sure they have, so they have the canvas, um, which is a different size. It looks like maybe a little bit. 17 by 25. Yeah. That's still a weird that's, size, even for a canvas. That I feel. includes the frame, I would think. Okay. Like around, around the canvas, right? There's. It does. Yeah. It says black frame. Yeah. And then you could also get the paper version uh, framed. I don't have anything pre-framed by Sideshow, but I've heard they do a fantastic job. I think that looks really good. Sometimes I think it looks a little gimmicky with the matting because um, they always do that. The, the that accent laser. color, the accent color on these CC makes these prints pop. I've owned four different that they've they framed in the past. They the accent color just it gives it such good class. It really does mm -hmm. look good in person. Nice. But yeah, I think I scrolled down and saw the the Rebels premium format and I thought that they, that would be a perfect combination. Where which one is that? Go up. Up on the left. Oh, you mean the statue. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a premium format, I think, right? Yeah. 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 Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting version of her here, you know artist's lifelike interpretation of her. Um, she looks like a Thundercat. <laughs> That's a good point. Good point. I don't mean um, in a bad way. She just does that. Certainly yeah. dynamic. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah it, it, almost, it almost reminds me of the art that accompanies the Mythos statues. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, CC, is there any, uh, any shows or anything like that coming up that you'd want to plug? Um, so regarding like the Matt Ferguson release that I'm obviously very excited about, I was debating if schedules allow, uh, us doing a, a quick rundown once we get full final images of what's going to be released on May the 4th, or if no one's available, I might just do like a pre-recorded video and see how that goes. Okay. All right. So stay tuned to the, uh, to the Facebook Rogue One Six Facebook group and, the. Uh... Rogue One Six YouTube channel for future details on that. And and Jason and I were a little long winded, but we did do a print show. I think it was last Tuesday, yeah. um, where I showed I off a that. private commission art print I got um, that I'm I'm very excited about, even though it it put a damper on my wallet. But um, if you, I know it's it's a two hour show, but if you feel like looking at that and taking a look, um, I we went more in depth on that's a as to the more recent art print releases. Very cool. All 